So as soon as the pandemic was declared and everybody was told to stay home and stay safe, businesses had to make adjustments that frankly many were not ready for. And we knew as an organization, our job as facilitators is to keep everybody connected, to stay connected. So our organization uh, really pivoted very quickly and we became very familiar with the virtual platforms and have been running our meetings on Zoom ever since uh, the pandemic hit. And fortunately, that's helped our members stay connected. It's helped keep those relationships alive. It's helped make it so people are still seeing each other and referring each other. And best yet, uh, new members are finding us, new businesses are finding us because of that deep need to get to know and be relating to other business professionals in the same communities that we serve. The business and also for a lot of the kids in the community. Fantastic, okay, great. Well, good stuff, that is so much positive stuff. I already feel fantastic now, uh, and I'm gonna take that with me for the rest of today. So just really quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and start recording this meeting uh, in the cloud. Uh, just so you know, after every meeting, unless I screw something up, the intention is to send a recap email like I've been doing. So the recap email includes a recording of the meeting. Attached to it will also be a current roster of the team because uh, we do add members and every once in a while we lose somebody. But um, and we haven't lost anybody this week, but I wanted to let you know that the roster will always be included with the recap as well as the chat. So anything that you put into the chat um, that's going to be saved as a file too. And the reason I do that is because sometimes we have a guest that's visiting us and you want to reach out to that guest. Their information should be in the chat. So Stephanie, uh, if you wouldn't mind putting your information, uh, you know, name, email. And with that being said, it's finally time for me to shut my mouth and relax for a while and listen to the people that I love hearing from. And everybody gets a solid minute. This is called our Member Minute. We use this time to educate, coach, inspire, and motivate. I'm up, okay. 129, one minute. Okie dokie. So um, we had our uh, office meeting today. One of the things that came up was about new construction. And new construction, a buyer may feel as though uh, one of the things they don't have to do is a home inspection because the house is brand new, it's all been built. But you know what? We're finding that maybe you still should do a home inspection because the contractors there, remember it's supply and demand. And so right now we have a lot of construction that is going on. And so you wanna make sure that every contractor that's lined up is doing the right thing. And so an overall home inspection at the end is really advisable, even though it's new construction. Hey everybody, this is Rob from formerly Heath Farms Pastured Chickens, now Happy Chickens Bone Broth. Uh, you can see here why I have not been super present at uh, meetings recently. Uh, while my wife is homeschooling our daughter, I have new baby duty. Um, so uh, just to give some background on me, I know it's been a while since I've been here. Uh, I am a chicken farmer. Our chicken farm is based in Milan, just south of Ann Arbor. And we produce pastured chickens. We raise chickens out on pasture, which is the not only the healthiest way to raise the chickens, but a way that makes them the happiest and makes the environment the happiest and makes our customers the happiest. Uh, Dr. Jeff O'Boyle with Beyond Primary Care. I'm the only insurance-free membership-based clinic in all of Washtenaw County, offering my patients virtually unlimited office visits, wholesale medications to dispense for my in-clinic pharmacy, as well as wholesale blood work done at the time of appointment if necessary. So my, my clinic uh, is rock and rolling lately. You know, people I think are becoming a little less hesitant, hesitant towards uh, getting back out and seeing their doctor. You know, a lot of new patients. I have currently a public health student, uh, Ilian, working with me right now. So it's pretty cool getting some students, uh, some background in direct primary care, how we're cutting up the middlemen in healthcare in the United States and making your healthcare more affordable. So again, this is Dr. Boyle, Beyond Primary Care. Thank you. I've been a small business professional most of my life, and almost all of my business has been done in the local community. So I really identify with people that need to be known locally in their community, need to be thought of as the go-to person for referrals, somebody that's going to support other businesses, be a great resource. And that's a different animal than people that want to be selling their business online or selling their business across the world. 
When you want to build your business locally at that grassroots level, it really does take a community. It really does take a team. And it really does take leadership. And that's what we provide in Cirrusnet. That company introduced me from the very first day I was involved with Cirrusnet and Steve. And um, I can I can truly say that I've been, this is might be maybe my fourth group that I've been in with Steve. And they have all been such a benefit to me personally. Um, but also collectively, the people that, that come together to be a part of what Steve does are usually about, a, about as sharp as they can get. So um, even, even if um, referrals aren't pouring in my way, I, I gotta be frank, even though I love referrals, I don't really care. What I really love is the process of iron sharpening iron, which is what happens when you get together with a group of people like you. And I think that's a huge credit to who you are, but also um, the kind of people that, that Steve uh, attracts. One objection that I've heard over the years from people that have been interested in getting involved in a referral passing group is that it just takes too much time out of their schedule. It's very difficult for them to stop what they're doing, go to a meeting, drive somewhere, get set up, uh, have small talk after the meeting, and then drive all the way back to where they came from to the point where a one hour meeting might take three or four hours out of somebody's day to be a part of. But that's not the case anymore. Uh, now you can actually log in, right on Zoom meetings with us, be part of an effective one hour referral passing team. And these meetings are run 30 times a year. We're looking for businesses that feel confident they can be a part of 80% of the meetings we run because it takes that kind of repetition for people to really get to know you, like you, trust you. And by being there at that level, at that 80% level, you'll get to know the other people in the group. They'll get to know you. You'll also be able to receive our toolbox education where you can get really good at being a great referrer and being an effective member on our teams. CirrusNet is facilitated referral groups. You always have a facilitator ready to hold that space for you to keep your referral network alive. So I do encourage you to join us.